Number 1. Thoth, the god of writing and wisdom, could be depicted in the form of a baboon or a sacred ibis or as a man with the head of an ibis. He was believed to have invented language and the hieroglyphic script and to serve as a scribe and advisor for the gods. As the god of wisdom, Thoth was said to possess knowledge of magic and secrets unavailable to the other gods. In underworld scenes showing the judgment undergone by the deceased after their deaths, Thoth is depicted as weighing the hearts of the deceased and reporting the verdict to Osiris, the god of the dead. Number 2. Bastet In her earliest forms, the cat goddess Bastet was represented as a woman with the head of a lion or a wild cat. She took the less ferocious form of a domestic cat in the first millennium before Christ. In later periods, she was often represented as a regal-looking seated cat, sometimes wearing rings in her ears or nose. In the Ptolemaic period, she came to be associated with the Greek goddess Artemis, the divine hunter and goddess of the moon. Number 3. Ammon Before rising to national importance in the New Kingdom, 1539-1292 before Christ, the god Ammon was worshipped locally in the southern city of Thebes. Ammon was a god of the air, and the name probably means the hidden one. He was usually represented as a man wearing a crown with two vertical plumes. His animal symbols were the ram and the goose. After the rulers of Thebes rebelled against a dynasty of foreign rulers known as the Hyksos and re-established native Egyptian rule throughout Egypt, Ammon received credit for their victory. In a form merged with the sun god Re, he became the most powerful deity in Egypt, a position he retained for most of the New Kingdom. Today, the massive temple complex devoted to Amun Re at Karnak is one of the most visited monuments in Egypt. Number 4. Ta. Ta was the head of a triad of gods worshipped at Memphis. The other two members of the triad were Ta's wife, the lion headed goddess Sekhmet, and the god Nephrodim, who may have been the couple's son. Ta's original association seems to have been with craftsmen and builders. The fourth dynasty architect Imhotep was deified after his death as a son of Ta. Scholars have suggested that the Greek word Egyptos, the source of the name Egypt, may have started as a corruption of HWT Kata, the name of one of Ta's shrines. Number 5. Horus. Depicted as a falcon or as a man with a falcon's head, Horus was a sky god associated with war and hunting. He was also the embodiment of the divine kingship, and in some eras, the reigning king was considered to be a manifestation of Horus. According to the Osiris myth, Horus was the son of Isis and Osiris, magically conceived after the murder of Osiris by his brother Seth. Horus was raised to avenge his father's murder. One tradition holds that Horus lost his left eye fighting with Seth, but his eye was magically healed by the god Thoth. Because the right and left eyes of Horus were associated, respectively, with the sun and the moon, the loss and restoration of Horus's left eye gave a mythical explanation for the phases of the moon.